So the more that we get more and more growers and more and more importers that know about this facility and the ability to offload in a refrigerated space is the best news ever. But first, a step towards solving the country's supply chain issues begins at the Arizona border. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Dan Maris. And I'm Brooke Wagner. There's a new effort at the southern border to strengthen the supply chain and our state's economy. In Nogales at the Mariposa Land Port of Entry, CBP unveiled a new cold storage facility to address supply chain challenges. 13 News reporter Michaela Novitsky is in Nogales. And Michaela, what can you tell us about this new facility? Hundreds of commercial trucks carrying produce and medicine cross through this port every day. During the summer, those goods need to stay at a certain temperature to avoid spoiling. The goal of these new cold storage bays is to improve processing when importing these goods into the United States. This is, you know, the beginning of what can be a tremendous amount more of business and many, many, many more opportunities for the Mariposa Port of Entry, for the importers, for the exporters, and obviously for the state of Arizona. After eight years and close to a million dollars in funding, the Mariposa Land Port of Entry in Nogales now has two cold storage bays. The rooms provide around 2,000 square feet for U.S. Custom and Border Patrol officers to inspect temperature-sensitive products while maintaining the cold chain. Hopefully we'll get seafood in here, we'll get uh, pharmaceutical supplies in here as well, uh, meat in here, and also lots of processed uh, fruits and vegetables. This new addition to the port will help avoid food waste, damaged products, and the loss of millions of dollars each year. It, it can save millions of dollars because you have fruits and vegetables that are, the shelf life is, is finite, and uh, so the maintenance of those temperatures are extremely important for us. Federal and state officials work together to find this solution to protect goods, even in the peak of Arizona's summer heat. The cold rooms are secure and have temperature control systems that can maintain a required temperature for many different kinds of goods. So this is going to open up opportunities for the western hemisphere of the country to be able to uh, be able to supply their products through Nogales. The new cold rooms will also help support the local economy in Nogales and make it a destination port for other products people depend on. Originally, there were plans for six cold rooms at this port, but that dropped down to just two. If all goes well here, the hope is to add more cold rooms in the future. Reporting in Nogales, Mikhail Nowitzki, 13 News. The Department of Public Safety is investigating a deadly crime.